also the one can write a speech, but um, and that would be best for me to about seven years. <laughs> I just wanted to talk a little bit about junior hockey and uh, what it's meant to me. And, uh, you know, us hockey players, we have a great life, and uh, junior hockey is one of the best times in the world. And uh, it takes a lot of dedication, sacrifice, commitment, and a lot of hard work, but that's what we give up when we play the game in our love. Uh, it, it's pretty sad to see my junior career come to an end, but uh, when one door closes, it's not one opens. And I feel that it's, uh, it's, it's what you take with you when you leave your career that, uh, that makes you a better person. Uh, throughout my career, I've made, uh, made countless friends and met countless people. Uh, I've experienced some of the greatest experiences I will ever experience, and uh, found some of the greatest memories I'll ever find. I just want to uh, take this time and uh, use this situation to uh, thank a lot of people that helped me along the way. Uh, first off, I want to thank the fans of Cape Breton. You guys are awesome. Uh, I had the chance to. Uh, to compare you guys actually it's funny, but uh, I played BI for two years and uh, to come to Cape Breton from there, you, know, uh, you definitely see a huge difference and uh, and anyone will tell you that helps you play on the ice. Uh, I want to thank my friends, uh, just a lot of my close friends, uh, Steve Darren, Brad, me and Brad, Greg, Garrett, Dave, Scott, and uh, Kristen. I want to thank uh, my bills from PEI, Rob, Chris, Katie, Chelsea, and Lori. Uh, also, I'd like to thank uh, the Bill families from Cape Breton. Uh, I know Brad and Cam Fury had us over for uh, some great suppers. And uh, Daryl and Wilcox, who drove us in Boston parties. And, uh, <laughs> the great hair and uh, I'd like to thank all uh, the, the people involved in Cape Breton Community Organization. Uh, Paul, Mario, John Hanna, Bearcat, John Cabute, uh, Theo Summerdale. Uh, Scotty, Al Shaber, Buddy Clifford, Kenrick Neal, Al Sidney, Noah Minch, and Tristan. And uh, I also want to thank Pascal. Um, he's, uh, he's one of the big reasons of being up here today. He uh, brought him here to be. Uh, so I also like to thank the office staff, uh, Peter, Pauline, Laura, uh, Education Coordinator Gary, and uh, last year George Bailey. And uh, I want to thank Mr. Andrew Cote and Mr. Scrooge McDowell. And uh, basically, I just want to thank you for welcoming me to your organization and uh, you gave me the chance to resurrect my career. And, uh, you guys take pride in everything you do, and I respect that great. I believe your organization filled with all the right people. And uh, you give, give us, Kate Bretners, uh, something to be proud of and I'm honored to be part of that. And uh, another thing I want to say today, uh, one of the Eagles' greatest strengths is our team chemistry. Uh, from 16-year-old rookies to 20-year-old veterans, everybody gets along in the restaurant. And uh, I just want to let my teammates know how happy I can play with them. And uh, this is kind of something between me and other players. Not everyone will understand, but uh, the players will know what I mean. Uh, uh, Sha, what are you saying? Uh, Ellis, keep eating, man, you're getting scared when you're 18. Uh, Max, I'm uh, sure you can be a pro ping pong player. Marco, keep working out. Laurel, uh, swings for life. Uh, Brett, good old Sydney boy, I remember you when it's the greatest pool shot ever. Miles, uh, you're the nicest guy I know and uh, don't go changing. Uh, to sink, we uh, played the longest poker game ever, I think. And uh, you did win, but uh, thanks for giving me my money back. Vinny, <laughs> uh, nice shave, man. And uh, have fun in Paris. Uh, Ward, my neighbor. And uh, I just want to tell you, I like that pass right here. <laughs> and uh, JC, the ninja go check, uh, my other neighbor. Uh, stay huge, man. Uh, uh, the tallest guy I know, Matthew, the praying mantis broker. <laughs> Yann Kiskachek, wow, what a hip check. Uh, Chris Holden, you crazy American. Uh, I think I can get 200 off you. Uh, Kibwa, I'll miss the uh, practice competitions. And uh, I have a better record so far, by the way. Uh, 
Schwinn, how old are you again? Uh, sorry for you, it was my fault. Uh, Miller, thanks for them garage and the guitar lessons. And I think I have 60 bucks, by the way. T-Mac knows almost as much, of, as much about movies as I do, and that's saying something. And uh, he'll make a great recruiter for you and me someday. Uh, Stins, you always keep me entertained, man, and uh, you're up for anything. And I think you get a good job on passions. <laughs> Big Nick, good West Side boy, uh, put Craig Nish on the map, and uh, I'm going to miss the drives to make an issue with you, man. Uh, Colleen Slane, uh, there's some two other guys that I've just been my last year junior with. You guys, uh, you guys have been, you know, there with me ever since I came here. Um, Slane roommates, right? <laughs> Crazy dude, being probably the smartest too. <laughs> serious guy I know besides myself. And, uh, just want to say thanks for introducing me to a large tea, two sugar, one milk. And, uh, I know we've only known each other for two years, but uh, coming here and playing, I've uh, gotten a chance to become so close, and I uh, consider you one of the, my best friends. Uh, and whether you play pro or become a doctor or a lawyer, which are three pretty good options if you ask me. <laughs> I wish you the best, man. You work hard, you love life, and uh, you deserve every bit of it. And I respect you for that. So, okay. uh, Tully, I, uh, I still don't think it was fair that you played 40 to 45 minutes. You beat me the playoffs back in Adam. <laughs> and I'm sorry for hitting from behind into an open gate in PDI. <laughs> Uh, I know you since we were kids, but it's, it's when I got traded to the Eagles that we really got to know each other and became best friends. Uh, thanks for getting my lazy ass out of bed in the morning, and uh, you're welcome for getting yours up. Uh, thanks for making an extra long trip to my house before school so we wouldn't have to show up alone. And uh, I just want to say you're one of the best guys I know. And uh, I know you'll always be there for me. And like me and Berkeley said, I don't think you should go. <laughs> and there's always a room for rent. And don't worry, we'll finish off the drive someday. <laughs> I love you. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank my family sitting in the back there. Uh, Kate, my baby sister. Uh, thanks for all your love and support and for making me feel like a big brother. Uh, my brother BJ, my big brother BJ, you uh, taught me a lot about life and a lot about hockey. And uh, thanks for always letting me play with you and your friends. Uh, you guys made me a better person and I'm blessed to have such loving and caring siblings. Uh, to my mom and dad, thank you for loving me and supporting me, not only in hockey but whatever I, I chose to do. And, uh, Thanks for all the hockey skates, all the gear, all the early mornings, long weekends, and road trips. Uh, thanks for all the registration fees. And most importantly, thanks for the sticks. Uh, you know what I mean? uh, Mom, thanks for all the pregame meals, wishing me luck, and pressing my shirts. And don't worry, I, think, I know I'll be fine next year. Uh, Dad, thanks for all the pep talks. Uh, they aren't over yet, and uh, teaching me pretty much everything I know about the game. Uh, you guys raised me into the man I am today, and uh, you've given me the most perfect life. Uh, I hope you guys are as proud of me as I am of you. You two are amazing and the best people I know, and I, uh, I don't know where I'd be without you. And uh, I'm blessed to have such a wonderful family. I love you guys. Thank you.